Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of division, specifically dividing whole numbers and unit fractions, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's start with 1 third divided by 6. So we have our unit fraction here as the dividend. We're going to divide it with our whole number. 6 is our divisor. So we have a picture of 1 third and we're going to take this one third and we're going to divide it into six equal pieces. So I'm going to take my shape and I'm going to cut my shape in half. Then I'm going to take each of those halves and cut those halves into thirds. And so when I take a half and cut each half into thirds, I end up getting sixths. And so when I'm dividing one third by six, what I'm looking for is the size of one of those pieces of my original third. So if I take one sixth of my one third, I'm going to have one piece, but my denominator has changed. I have six pieces in this column, six pieces in this column, six pieces in this column. So I have three sets of six. That's going to make 18. So if I have one third divided by six, that's actually going to make one eighteenth. Let me show you how you can do this without drawing a picture. When you are dividing fractions, a shortcut is to take our divisor, so that's our second number, and you flip it, you use the inverse. So let me rewrite 6 as 6 over 1, because 6, our whole number, is really 6 wholes. And so we're going to flip it upside down, and we're going to rewrite it as 1 over 6. That's the inverse. And the inverse, or the opposite of division, is going to be multiplication. Since we flip this upside down, 6 over 1 to 1 over 6, we can flip our division into its opposite, and that's multiply, and you will get the exact same answer, 1 over 18. So that is a shortcut that you can use when you are dividing fractions. Let's look at another example. Our next problem is 5 divided by 1 fourth. So we put our unit fraction as the divisor here is 1 fourth. So you see I have 5 whole circles. And what I want to do is I want to break each of those into fourths. And the question would be, how many fourths or how many quarters would I have if I broke up 5 holes into quarter pieces? Well, we can simply cut each of these into fourths. And if you want, you can go ahead and count along. We've got 4. 8, 12, that makes 16, and so really that's just a multiplication fact. We've got 20 pieces, so if you have 5 holes and break those into 1 fourth pieces, how many 1 fourth or how many quarter pieces you would get? Well, you would get 20, and the same shortcut applies. If you take your divisor, your second number, and you flip it upside down, so 1 over 4, Flipped upside down, the inverse would be 4 over 1. And really, that's 4 holes, so that's just going to be 4. And the inverse of division is going to be multiplication. So if you have the inverse operation and the inverse divisor, then you can simply multiply, and you're going to get 20. Now it's time for you to try. Take a moment and try to solve these two problems, 1 8th divided by 4 and 3 divided by 1 6th. You can use the shortcut or draw a picture. When you have your answers, go ahead and unpause the video and check your work. So when I'm dividing my 1 8th by 4, I take my 1 8th and I cut that into 4 pieces here. And I went ahead and drew that all the way across so we can count how many total pieces we have. So one piece here is going to be 1, then I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sets of 4. 8 sets of 4 is going to be 32. So it's going to be 1 over 32. And remember, you can also invert the operation and the divisor. So if I take my 1 eighth and multiply it by 1 over 4, you're going to get 1 32nd. With a 3 divided by 1 sixth, I have my 3 holes. I cut each of those into 6 equal parts, and I simply count how many parts I have. I'm going to have a total of 18. And once again, you can go ahead and invert the operation and the divisor, change your division into multiplication, and then change your 1 over 6 to 6 over 1. 6 over 1 is simply 6. That's 6 holes, so 3 times 6 is 18. Mm -hmm. 